How's it going, everybody? Dr. Coin back at it again, and welcome to the Coin Cave. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing one of the rare and valuable American coins in history, and that is the Lafayette Silver Dollar from the year 1900. Before we start this off, I would really appreciate if you guys would hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more coin collecting videos just like this. And then, let's get right into it. The Lafayette Silver Dollar is a coin struck by the U.S. Mint in the year 1899 to honor Frenchman Marquis de Lafayette, who served in the Revolutionary War and fought for the Americans. Towards the end of the 1800s, American citizens wanted a public monument in France to honor Lafayette's service during the war. This coin was released in the year 1900 to mark the United States' participation in the Paris World Fair. It was designed in 1899 by U.S. Mint Chief Engraver Charles E. Barber, and it is the first and only commemorative silver dollar struck by the U.S. Mint until the year 1983, and it was also the first U.S. coin to feature images of American citizens. Before this coin was approved, the design was heavily disputed. Due to failures in some of the previous commemorative releases by the U.S. Mint, Charles Barber decided to take on this project personally. Barber and the Assay Commission would disagree on how the busts of Washington and Lafayette should appear on the coin. Barber would then reach out to the director of the U.S. Mint and the head of the Assay Commission and explain to them the difficulties in portraying certain images on such a small canvas, even on a coin as large as a silver dollar. And eventually, after some persuasion, his design, which was based off of a medal made in 1824 to honor Lafayette, went through. Barber would be given early sketches of the monument that was to be built to honor Lafayette in Paris. He would use these sketches to design the reverse for the coin. Eventually, the coin design was approved by Congress and the Lafayette Memorial Association would start to sell the commemorative dollars to raise funds to build the memorial in Paris. The coin is composed of 26.73 grams of 90% silver and 10% copper. It was struck with a mintage of 50,026, with the extra 26 being set aside for the Assay Commission. The dollars did not sell out, which led the mint to melt down 14,000 of the remaining coins. The current population of these silver dollars is unknown. In terms of numismatic value, when you're dealing with some of these old commemorative U.S. coins, it all comes down to the condition. That's one of the things I found so interesting when I started looking up some of these early U.S. commemoratives like the Oakland Bay Bridge half dollar or the Oregon Trail half dollar is that a lot of the time they are struck at extremely low mintages and even of that mintage they were struck at, some of the coins will have been melted down. So the population is usually very mysterious and grab them in a low grade state they are usually pretty attainable you can usually pick up one from a VG to a fine state for around a hundred dollars give or take sometimes you can get it a little cheaper sometimes you can get it for a little more expensive but when you start getting into the MS region you start talking some serious money and this silver dollar is definitely worth some good money in an MS state um, when you start getting into the high MS grades, like MS64, MS65+, plus, you're talking uh, five to $10,000 easily. This is definitely a very historical coin. It is the first commemorative US silver dollar, and it is definitely one that is sought after by collectors. You know, when it comes to coin collecting, it is just a vast, endless ocean of knowledge and information. And of all of the US half dollar commemoratives I've looked up, I did not even know that this silver dollar commemorative existed. So it was suggested by one of my subscribers that I do this video, so I'd like to thank you very much for the suggestion. This is exactly the kind of thing that I'm looking to cover on my channel, and if there's any other coins you guys would like to see me do some videos on, I would definitely like if you would let me know in the comments. I would love if you guys would hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you are new and you'd like to see more videos just like this. The next video I'm going to be doing on these old, rare, and valuable American coins is most likely going to be the Isabella Quarter. I don't know much about it, but I'm really looking forward to delving in and seeing what that thing is all about. Other than that one, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Until the next one, everybody, peace out and have a good one, y'all.